what you wanted to see. And I'm Charlie. We are here from Aston Park Second Beautiful to take a look around the Bristol and we set off To show you some of the opportunities they offer to the younger generation in Bristol. When exactly did Engine Shed, shed start up? In so a 10 second burst. If that's engine Shed started about five years ago when we needed to find a new home in a hurry. Um, but the main thing is just to offer a really like, informal, creative office space for new innovative companies. So rather than quite formal service offices, gives people creative, relaxed spaces. They can do like what they want with their space. Yeah, no, you don't really need to get everybody straight into it. <laughs> We are now entering the engine shed. We are going through the main hall of the engine shed. Uh, well, Carbon Law Partners is a law firm uh, that's been established about four years now. So why did you choose to do it around in this like area? Um, partly we've only been going a little while so we needed some premises that would uh, allow us to grow um, quite quickly but uh, allow us the flexibility. Um, of having office space. Uh, so what is it exactly like in Endinshire? Um, well it's a really interesting place where a lot of diverse companies come and work in various guises so a lot of them come on a hot desk in this space as well. We also have spaces to hire so this is the junction space over here which is our seminar space which is often used for presentations and then also down this way we've also got our business lounge where most of our um, tenants and co-workers come and uh, network and interlink and network. Show in like 10 seconds what Oracle is. Oracle is a huge tech company and we're in the Oracle <coughs> Startup Accelerator. I mean, the Accelerator brings on startup companies to help them grow their Shed exactly inspired you to work here. Uh, the Engine Shed is a great place for startups. It's got a very rich ecosystem. There's everything from science and engineering to retail startups. It all happens here, so it's a really fun place to work. Uh, what exactly do you do? Like in a That's a good question. I'm the managing director of the company, which means that along with the person I built the company with, my co-founder, my job is to make sure that my team are able to do their jobs as effectively as possible, because that's what makes our company move forward. What do you do and your company does? Uh, so my name is Zara. I run a company called Gap Square, and we use technology to help close the gender pay gap, the difference in pay between men and women. So what are some of the projects that you do in Boon Satsuma? Um, we carry out mainly uh, projects around film production, graphic design, photography um, and web design and um, those projects are all normally based around sort of real world uh, topics. Yeah, due to us uh, young people. So what we're trying to do is to make sure that companies that we're growing, so we host an incubator for businesses, that the companies that we're growing have a really great pool of talent to recruit from. And so we're working with young people to make sure they've got the skills and the right positive attitude to be able to be ready for work in 10 years time. Please give us a 10, like 10, 10 second nutshell of what Boom Satsuma does. Uh, Boom Satsuma are an alternative education provider that special, specialise in creative and media um, and we teach 16 to 19 year olds mainly. What exactly do you do for Engine Shed? What do I do for Engine Shed? Yeah. So I run the building, uh, I run the team and so we make money out of the meeting rooms and the office space in the building and we use that money to run projects like Engine Shed on Tour. So can you tell me what you do in 10 seconds? In 10 seconds. Um, we solve um, problems on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, we design, um, we try not to let anything phase us so everything is a challenge um, and we have a lot of fun solving, solving various problems. What is an entrepreneur? An entrepreneur. Um, somebody that's got ambition, um, uh, has a definition of success that, um, that doesn't really focus on money, um, it's about contentment, um, wants to succeed and achieve something um, that is special to them. How does hair um, 
So the engine shed um, has helped me in terms of confidence, um, introducing, opening up a world of um, things about running a business that I wasn't really aware of. Um, so the exposure to lots of different things, lots of different people, the ability to share problems and solve problems together, um, the entrepreneurs in residence and everybody else, it's a good team. It's like having an extended team of people. Can you introduce yourself and tell us what you do in Tesla? Hi, I'm Matt Burns, and I run a business called Camera Forensics, um, which helps law enforcement tackle serious crime by scanning web doors open to young people after their training. Um, all doors are open, right? Until you start closing off doors, anything's possible. So, um, but the more training you, you do, the fewer doors get closed by not being trained. Uh, Explain what this does for us. So this is our dashboard, um, and we're constantly crawling the web. So this gives us a quick heads up view of how some of our servers are doing and how much of the web we're crawling. So it's just constantly hammering away um, in some server somewhere in America. Yeah, Can you introduce yourself and tell us your profession in 10 seconds? Hi, my name is Tom Clifford and I work uh, in the travel industry to help people plan uh, better trips. What doors does your company have for younger people to open? So we have an internship scheme um, and we, we do keep uh, some students that come in during their university studies and yeah. they can work here and find out more about the, about the business and the world of startups. So as part of our um, sort of planning process, yeah. we quite often try to brainstorm ideas and using post-it notes actually stuck on the wall is, actually, is a really good way to do this because it means that you're freed from looking at the small screen mm -hmm. and you can get more creative. This place to help you with your careers. Um, so my original career was to do with law, but I decided after working at a law firm for the first three months of the apprenticeship, I realised that it wasn't for me. So I wanted to jump into something to do with business admin, which, um, as you can tell, Engine Shed does involve a lot of people from different businesses and organisations coming and working here together. So I think it's helping me gain the experience that actually is actually helping me think what I really want to jump into instead of law. So looking at what about the Engine Shed interested you? Um, sorry. As you can see, like the interior of the engine shed is really amazing, and it's, it doesn't really look like a businessy kind of place. It's, it's more like a networking place, so it kind of grasps anyone's attention. You don't have to be working here to want to come in here and see. I remember when I came in for my interview, I sat and I was like, "This does not look like a business place. It looks really nice and really warm and welcoming." And also, the staff is amazing. I've been here for four months now, and I've got nothing bad to say about this place. It's amazing. <laughs> what you do here and who you are? Um, I'm Paige Scalman, I'm a venue manager here at Engine Shed, uh, so I manage the four meeting rooms, um, bookings and the three larger event spaces, um, and I also supervise the reception team. The Engine Shed in Bristol? Um, yeah, it's a really nice place to work, there's a really nice team, um, it's quite a small team, even though we work for the university, um, it's a, a really nice small team, um, every day is different, um, there's a variety of people that come through the door. What do you think it offers to young people in Bristol? Um, us, from our perspective, we uh, offer internships, so uh, work experience during um, the end of the year, um, which is really nice to get uh, different young people in to um, get involved with what we do. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. In 10 seconds, could you tell me who you are and what you do here? Yeah, sure. My name's Emily. I'm the creative content manager for Ogadoon, which is a comms agency based here in Bristol. And what would you say interests you the most here? I think it's the history, partly. Uh, you know, Brunel and the amazing, wonderful tech companies that have worked here for so long, but also the exciting innovation that's happening right now. Uh, lots of companies pushing boundaries, um, completely disrupting what everyone expects them to do. What would you say appeals to the younger generation here? I think the ability to be online so easily, um, the ability to access all the technology that you want just on your phone, um, and the ability to start enacting your own change and your own creativity um, within a couple of clicks.